wow, another idiot! Jack Doherty is a streamer. You have probably seen him on the channel. He's also a YouTuber and he's associated and surrounded himself with content creators who are pieces of poop, poop. Zerka, Vusi, the Island Fellows. So Jack has been blowing up recently and he's a bit of a dweeb or a goober. Well, I'm a goober. He's more of a... Here's a video of Jack fighting with his brother, Michael, after Jack took Michael's new luxury car without permission and without a license, so Jack could tape a prank. Let's see, before 2023, he was still incredibly relevant. He was on fucking Dr. Phil. Huh? They're just letting anybody on that damn show, it seems like. Two years ago, this 17-year-old boy known as Jack, who was a little bit, he was a little puffy looking then. He was on Dr. Phil, and this was a precursor to everything that we're seeing now. He literally said that he will do almost anything for likes and views online. And he's really lived up to that. I mean, over the last two years, he's pretty much just done that. He hit a billion views when he was 17 years old. What was he even doing? I don't even know. We're gonna talk in the 17 year old Jack. We're, we're just talking the 17. Dude, shut up. Just kidding, I love Dr. Phil. It's over 1 billion, with a B, views online and is known to push the limit to get a reaction out of others. He's 17 years old. He looks like a child. He looks, what is this f***ing alarm? It says vitamins, take your vitamins. Okay. How did he have a billion views though? Let's see, what, what kind of content was he making back then? Oh my God, he's like a little baby right here. Hey guys, it's me, little Jack Dirty. Oh wow, what a start. Oh, I think I just, I got a hernia from that. Okay, he was doing that, that awesome clickbait a long time ago. Oh my God, this is just what happens when you let your child have a, have a, th oh my, what? This makes me upset. You know what's up is he was getting more views than me six years ago and still is i mean he's totally more far more relevant i'm just i'm just you know i'm jealous that's what it is really at the end of the day i'm just jealous do not talk to siri at 3 a.m shut up you little f during the intro segment of the dr phil video he gets the audience familiar with the person that's coming on the show for that episode in this case it's jack they show the audience episodes of jack being a little bastard trolling in walmart's targets being detained by police for drinking a fake bail my viewers love my videos i wanted to give them more and more get out get now i really built my following by pushing the limit you oh my god no way i mean we've all been there to be honest, the whole the old fake beer gag with the police. Last month I did a video where I went walking around drinking fake beer and I pranked the cops that I was drunk. My stomach hurts, I'm gonna puke so bad. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking beer. The police handcuffed me, threw me in the back of a cop car and detained me for over an hour. You know, you guys have done that too when you were seven, you were seven years old, 18 years, 19, 16 years old. Me as well. I'm very cool. Dr. Phil then decides to confront little Jack uh, about the video in which Jack is arrested by the police or detained by the popo. There's seven cops dealing with him in this video. And there could be seven cops, you know, doing stuff that cops are actually supposed to do, like saving people's lives and uh, never mind. I was going to make a joke, but I won't. You just make, you make the joke for me in your head, but don't say it out loud or type Dr. Phil points out the fact that this man is a menace because he's wasting taxpayer dollars, causing the police to have to deal with his prank instead of allowing them to do their thing and be useful. There may be somebody getting mugged or or something 10 blocks over and they don't have police protection because you're scamming seven cops. And honestly, this is a great insight to who Jack is as a person a while ago before the massive recent fame. He does not care how his actions affect other people and the community at large and he legitimately just wants to get views and likes and clicks because he's a psychopath or a sociopath or whatever it may be. And it's such a bizarre situation because he's still a child. He's under the age of 18 and his parents at one point talk about how hard it is to punish him by taking away his phone or computer because that's how he makes a living. To be fair, he's only 17. He doesn't need to be making a living at age 17. I, mean, I guess you can if you want, but that's the time to learn legitimately and kind of enjoy your youth and kind of take some time away from the 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 rat race that is life or if you're like me it's time to develop a severe mental disorder and then leave it untreated for 10 years and then still do not treat it i feel like if i was his parent i would probably focus on raising a better person uh not a not a prankster i feel like the prankster if my child if i had a child that was pranking people i think i'd just i'd beat the stink out of them all right i'd beat the stink out of them not actually i'd probably you know 
I wouldn't do that. That's kind of illegal, I think. The whole thing's just classic, nonsensical Dr. Phil moments. His parents are giving these stupid in bios and they're like well we don't like it when he's doing all these bad things but also we cannot make changes and we will enable the behavior forever <laughs> if it's up to me i will tell jack to stop doing all these videos last month he bought zero percent alcohol beer Woo! i'm hammered oh I'm my bro dr phil even lays down the law as he always does and says jack you jack's father you endorse the behavior which is true you kind of endorse what he's doing, or at least go along with it, right? Now that he's getting older, his content is getting so much more edgy. Then we go on a little bit. Jack, in the interview, talks about how he doesn't flaunt his money, and his dad even backs him up on that. But recently, this is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to make a video about this fella. He's been in a lot of content, and he's done a lot of really insufferable stuff that we like to pick it and make fun of. But this, he's been bragging about money, um, or not necessarily money, but his horrible spending habits, his just disturbing use of money on Twitter recently. Check this shit out. Dark shit all you want. You wish you could spend this much on your credit card in just two weeks. No, I don't, dude. I'm not a fucking idiot. I would rather give $241,000 to someone I love than have a single thing that you bought with that money. TBH. Is $63 too much money for a hoodie? Yes, unless you're a mouth-breathing troglodyte so that does track though already signed the lease on my new crib for 55k a month oh my god that's idiotic another big point that dr p hill tries to make in his little jack doherty episode is the way that jack treats his neighbors that's what he brings up he makes that a, a, a pretty big point he has a disregard for his local community he called a mom that was upset at him for dirt biking in her in yards her yard other yards in the neighborhood a karen he called her a karen that's like a trend though to be honest i like calling people karens whenever my mom disapproves of me in any way i call her karen um she's not named karen it's just me being extremely disrespectful like my favorite content creator jack doherty and honestly now that i think about it whenever women just talk to me in any way i i get uh, i get irate and i say shut up karen that's not real by the way that's not real that's a joke that isn't even really a joke it's just like a lie <laughs> it's not funny rachel the karen from the dr phil clips calls in and essentially just wants an apology from jack and then jack gives the worst apology ever rachel i am sorry for uh uh, riding my dirt bike by her house, but I also could have posted her face on the internet also because I wasn't on her property or anything like that. What, I'm looking for the apology in there. Oh, I'm just uh, saying, I'm just saying like my side of the story. Because he says, but, right at the end, but, but. Then Jack's dad asks if he can bring Jack by to apologize, and Jack immediately tries to buy forgiveness, saying he'll bring her a gift basket, toys, whatever. I would forgive him at that point because money is the most important thing in the world. It's not respect. It's not love. It's not just hearing people. You know, just, just sometimes you feel like you might just need to hear someone talk, right? Just knowing other people are hearing you and you can hear them and that you're just sharing that. That's not important. It's money. That's the only thing that matters in the entire world. And by God, if you don't think so, then you ain't a man I want to be around, motherfucker. Just kidding, by the way, in case you didn't know. In case you're a fucking idiot. Eventually, it comes to a final straw moment in the Dr. P. Hill show. Jack gets complimented by Mr. P. Hill for his work ethic and drive, but then also tries to give him advice. Classic. He's a 17-year-old young boy. Dr. P. Hill, he's had a lot of experience. He's an interesting fellow. Jack interrupts him, and then Dr. P. Hill says he's done with Jack. I, I think you're energetic, and I think you're a hard worker. I think if you would morph things into uh, being more creative and... I think they're so creative. No one's ever done those types of stuff. Okay, we're done here. I'm sorry. He just seems like a little child. He's like 30 now, but he seems like a little child still. Now, all this Dr. Phil stuff was two years ago and he was being insufferable then. It has only gotten worse. And especially since the great uprising of Fousey over the summer on kick. That's when things really hit an inflection point, in my opinion, and they got real, real, real stinky. And they started to smell like a lot of shits and stuff. Started to smell like a lot of shit. Dude is now 20 years old, actually. He's not 30 or 40 or whatever. He's 20 and he's rotten to the core. If we just look at the past four months, we can paint a pretty clear picture in terms of examples uh, of how much Jack has grown up. 
Really big moment was back in August. He got slapped during a stream by a controversial streamer known as Fusi Yusuf. This was an epic live stream in which Fusi, a 33 year old fully grown man, I think, slapped a 19 year old baby boy. Okay, and they were talking about money and Fousey was being insufferable and I actually liked Jack a little bit I felt bad for him in this in this moment. I didn't know a lot about him when I first saw this But by God how things have changed Fousey's antics were all over Twitter and that was kind of what was uh, you know eating up the spa the brain waves Fousey even threatened to piss in Jack's lawn and then he tried to spit in Jack's face Good man Fousey is I think he just got out of uh, the pen or the, 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 the mental institution, whatever happened to him. He got locked up for being crazy. I'm glad he got the help that he needed for real. In September 2023, Jack and his security guards, who he loves, by the way, a lot of epic security guard moments with little Jack. They were engaged in a physical altercation with another kick streamer known as Izzy Prime. This followed an incident where Izzy Prime slapped Jack. Oh my God, this seems so real and not scripted. A lot of people just get slapped, hit, beat up at Jack's house, it seems like. And Izzy did slap Jack first. He didn't start it, but the entire situation is a result of the situation. I mean, it's all, it's obvious. Like, you don't want to have friends like this unless you want to get fucking beat up by them. I don't want to have friends where I'm getting beat up and stuff. Not for likes and views, at least. Maybe for sexual pleasure. I don't fucking know, dude. You know, shit. While Prime is beating up Jack's security, you can see everyone filming trying to milk this for their own content. All these people are just props to one another, basically. Props and sources of money. They're all just parasites. There's no friends. There's no real, genuine friendships. Dude, I love Zerka so much. He's my favorite content creator. Just kidding. He's a pdf file legitimately like actually he thinks it's really cool too he likes that in october jack got into an altercation with corinna kopf one of david dobrik's old buddies and a really famous only celebrity and this led to jack doherty's bodyguard kang kong punching an attendee at the party uh i don't know dude it's so weird man you've probably seen this clip we can't show the guy actually getting punched because it's like against the terms of service uh, or some shit on youtube but i wonder if that guy's in jail let's see kang kong this looks like a <laughs> reliable source. <laughs> what the f is this? I'm just gonna go, say, go ahead and say there's a 50-50% chance that he's arrested and not. There is a clip in which this fellow was in Jack's face a little bit, but it's not threatening in any way. So I think Kane Kong should go to jail probably for like assault, but I don't know. I don't know if he did already. All I could find was two different sources when I looked for three seconds. One was called Model Fact. In November, things have gotten interesting for Jack. Doherty recklessly drove a golf cart during a live stream, which flipped over onto his girlfriend, and then she died. Worst boyfriend of the year, Jack Doherty in hot water as his girlfriend gets hospitalized after he cuts his golf cart on the stream. She's fine. She didn't actually die. I did say she died, and I lied to you all, um, but I didn't. I didn't verify the source. Here's a picture of them in the hospital. I think he's gay, by the way, so I'm not sure. Or bisexual. I don't know the laws on that. The rules and the laws of the land. Someone explain it to me in depth. I'll read it and I'll like the comment. Thank you so much. Guy is very reckless and it seems like even his girlfriend is a prop for his videos. This also happened in November and I've got to say this is probably the least likable anyone has ever come off to me ever on the internet ever. This is a 20 year old adult man. Just so you guys know that. I know it looks like a seven year old uh, boy in the first grade. But this is an actual full-on adult man. What? Well, bro, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's such a comedian. Jake Sucky Lucky tweeted this and he said, uh, can we please read the world of Jack Doherty? And a lot of people agree with him. Then Jack Doherty said, LMAO, oh, 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 some people take dumbass trolling shit way too seriously. Bro, you are a fucking clown. An ignorant clown. A homo sapiens sapiens with a mind of a homo erectus. That is a burn. That's a burn. Is it? I don't know if it's a burn or not. I don't know a lot about, I don't know a lot about, um, a similar thing to this happened recently. Jack was at a mall and a mall cop tried taking away his microphone because he was shoving it in his face. So a little, little Jackie boy was 
putting it uh, where it shouldn't be. Or out of my face, or what? This, this mall cop. Okay. Damn. You can have touch him. I didn't touch him. No, yes, you did. I didn't touch him. We're doing the same job. Six. You don't touch him. I took the mic because he put it in my face. I didn't put it in your face, but yeah. All right, let's just leave. Come here. I mean, he did it legitimately put it in his face. Whoever edited that also has brain rot. <laughs> He did get banned from the mall for doing this because he's a piece of shit and he uploaded a video addressing that. Got banned from the last mall in Florida that I'm not banned from and literally all I do is film videos and buy people stuff and this is like the mall that's literally right next to my house and I'm just angry because I don't know how I'm gonna film my videos anymore. Like all I was doing was buying someone something. I was trying to buy this lady some Crocs and the Croc guy didn't want us to film the store. We were just trying to buy the Crocs. Dude, this is just so f obnoxious. He doesn't understand why he's a piece of shit and then he links his OnlyFans uh, directly in his YouTube comments, by the way. Um, and I know you're not supposed to link OnlyFans, like you can't directly link to OnlyFans, but I, I think the link tree thing is like kind of a, kind of a area of gray. So he's directly linking his OnlyFans in all of his videos just to, you know, call him out a little bit on that. And circling back to the credit card debt we talked about earlier, that's what he's been up to in December. His December pipeline of content has just been tweeting pictures of how much money he owes to Amex. Look, you've talked over the IP. Oh my god, I'm so flexed. I'm flexing. He also supposedly is being evicted from his home, which I don't understand why these little clout goblins like to buy houses. They like to buy houses, and instead of buying houses, they just lease them. They just lease $50,000 a month, 10,000 square foot, 20,000 square foot mansions. Like, what the fuck's the point of that? All I know is that this man has a very dim future. A bottom feeder, truly one of the worst content creators that I have ever seen in my entire life. And we've seen a fucking shit ton on this channel, guys. Anyways, he hasn't learned anything at all. Dr. Phil didn't help, not even one single bit.